Hi, I'm Dr Nick and today I'm going to show you how to make a multiplication table in a Google Sheet. This teaches you some important principles of spreadsheets and it's sort of fun. Let's begin. So first of all you need to have a spreadsheet. Um, open up a Google Sheet and call it multiplication because um, you need to call it something. And here's a picture of what we're going to finish off with. So we're going to have a table, we'll have numbers down the side and across the top, and in the centre there'll be the calculations. So we'll start off, we need to put some numbers across the top and down the side. So we'll start by putting them down the side, and we'll start by putting a 1 in this cell, and then a 2 underneath it, and then a 3, and so on. Now that's a little bit slow. What we want to do is we highlight all three of them and then we see how that's turned into a plus sign when we put it there and then we just drag it down and it goes up to the number 10. And we can do the same thing to the right, we go 1 and then we do 2. Now we don't actually have to do any more than 2, the spreadsheet can work out what to do after that. So drag that across. Now these columns are a little bit wide, so we need to make them narrow. We can do that one at a time by dragging them over like that. So you just pause your cursor over the gap. When it turns into a little double-sided arrow, you can move it in. Or you can highlight all of the rows by going, clicking on that one, holding down your shift key, and clicking on the other end of what you want to highlight and then just make it, make one of them the width that you want and all of the other ones get the same width at the same time which is what we wanted. So I'll just put a number 10 in here. Actually we wanted to have a row above that to put the heading in so we'll just highlight that uh, row then right click and go insert one above. So now we have a place here to put multiplication table. Now, the, oh, we could probably make this narrower too to put things in. Now, the next thing we do is we want to put our first formula in here. So we don't want to have to put all of the numbers in by hand. So we're going to use a formula, and the formula always starts with an equal sign. And it tells that it's going to be a formula. And you'll see it's appearing up here in the formula bar as well. So we want to multiply this number here, the 1, and then times, and then that number there, which is also a 1. So we're going to end up with the formula is going to be equals A3 times B2. You can see it appears up here, it appears here, and you can see the different highlighted cells. And we press Enter and we have one. Now we said the next one is we want it to say equals that two times one. So that's really cool, but that's going to take us a really long time. So why don't we just try dragging down? So we'll start by just dragging this one down and see what happens. Oh, it's not what we wanted. So we can have a look at the formulas. We can see that that's A4 times B3. Hmm, that's not what we wanted. Let's have a look here. This one is A6 times B5. So you can see that this cell here has dragged down each time, this reference. So what we want to do is we want it to stay being B2 in the formula. So what we do is we say we want to make it B, but we want the 2 to change. No, not to change, we want the 2 to stay the same. See, it does nothing to how it calculates, but when we copy it down, drag it down, ah, that's better. And so if you see down here, we've got A12 times B2, so it stayed B2. Now a useful thing is the control tilde, which we use, and it shows all of our formulas. We just need to show that there. So you've got A4 times B2, 5 times B2 and so on. 
so back again and we'll just go control tilde again and go back to our numbers now here we want to copy across as well so we copy across like this and not surprisingly that didn't work either so what we wanted to do is we wanted to make sure that that stayed as a3 not changed to b3 and c3 so it's because it's had a relative reference so what we'll do is we'll go back to here and we'll make that a dollar sign next to the a press enter and see what happens when we copy it across that looks very nice okay we've got one to ten let's take it down one and see what happens oh that's looking good I'm going to drag it all the way down and wait and there we have our multiplication table and we can check that it really works by doing something like making that 80 instead of 8 Let's see what happens with the 80 all of those numbers multiplied by 80 instead of 8 and we just do undo Now the other thing we need to do is that we need to name who wrote the spreadsheet. So make Kitty. We need to put a date, which is the 10th of July 2018. And then we need to indicate what are inputs and what are outputs. So inputs, we're going to use, um, I tend to use a paleo. So We can also use the copy format. So we go see this little painter thing, we go paint format. It's copied that one and we just paint it there. And it turns out the same as that one. We also want to indicate our outputs. So all of these outputs have got formulas. So we can highlight them all. And let's just make them bold. And we could give them another colour, so it's quite useful. Colours are nice, but they really should give a message. So we're going to make our outputs, in this case, give us sort of a rosy colour. There you have it. See what you can do.